All right, guys, let me share with you where we're going to be finding the products and services um, portion of what we had just explained. So here on the left hand column, I'm going to hover over sales and right here at the bottom, click on products and services. So products and services is where we're going to find anything we're going to keep here for our clients or if you're your own business, where you're going to keep all of the products and services you sell. This is where I talked about this being the hidden chart of account, hidden account on chart of accounts. I talked about that in my previous video for the bookkeeping intro, where you're not going to see these names here, like concrete, pump, fountain, rock. You're not going to see these on your actual chart of accounts, but they are hidden there. They're sort of the invisible account. And what I mean by that is let's start with, um, let's just go into the rocks services here. So if I click on edit, it's a service uh, is what they chose here. They named it here. You can go about putting all the information that is required for this. You can categorize them to help you stay organized, but this is not what's on your chart of accounts, not what truly, truly matters. What truly matters here is the income account. This is the list that shows up on our chart of accounts. And if it shows up on our chart of accounts, it's also going to show up on our reports, especially our profit and loss reports. Uh, and if you have the wrong one chosen here, say you have an expense chosen or you happen to uh, put in an accident, a bank or an asset, this can severely throw all of your reporting off. The, so you need to make sure that this is correctly categorized to the correct income account. So if it's design, design income, if you don't have it set up to where it's at, maybe super specific and it's more generalized, you're just going to use that pattern to keep it more generalized. But if you're the kind of bookkeeper or business owner that wants to be ultra specific, we need to make sure we're breaking this part down where it's design income, discounts given, all of this information that's on our chart of accounts, which I'll show you here in a second. Let me pop on over. So here in the chart of accounts, I can see all of the accounts that are here. And I can go all the way down. Oh, I passed it. Let's go all the way down to income. So if you want to get super specific, right? This is where you can get super specific. You just need to remember and keep in mind what and how you're tracking everything. So see how this is where design income is. And if we go to the other screen, we can see landscaping service. This is what we have it currently set as. But if I went in, here's design income. This here on this drop down is the same thing I'm looking at here when I'm in my chart of accounts. All right, that's this one here. If I wanted to find the landscaping one, landscaping is the parent account and it has a sub account here and they have a, a second sub account here. So if I was to look for landscaping job materials, It'll be landscaping, job materials, fountain, and garden lighting. So that would be, oh, sorry, I didn't show, I didn't show you guys. My bad. So if I come down to here, I see the account that the income account that it's currently chosen as. Sorry, my mouse is just turning this all over the place. All right, so I've got landscaping services, job materials and then fountain and garden lighting. So we've got the parent company, I'm sorry, the parent account, the sub account and the other sub account. So if I pop on over to my chart of accounts, it's the same thing. So I hope this kind of makes sense. Landscaping, job materials, fountain and garden lights. So this is where making sure that we are reviewing the products and services accounts for our clients comes into play. We need to make sure that these are up to date, the count, quality, um, quantity, not quality, quantity on hand is up to date. Um, is it taxable or not up to date? The costs, are they up to date? Sales description, service. We need to make sure that these um, income accounts are pointed to the correct income account it should be pointed to on a chart of accounts. So that makes, you know, that needs to line up and make sense. So I hope this kind of sheds light on you guys reviewing the products and services accounts for your clients when, when you guys begin taking over or even recording their, their AR.
This is so that you guys can be aware of what kind of products and services you're working with when it comes to that specific client and is it in QuickBooks or not? Because if it's not in QuickBooks, it's as simple as you guys adding it to QuickBooks if needed. And you can just go here.